Hi guys, this is Matthias, and today I want to show you one of the most famous, probably the most famous street in Gothenburg, Kungsport Avenue, or as we say it in Gothenburg, Avenue. If you have any interest in nightlife, if you go to Gothenburg, this is probably the first place to check out, even though this video is not going to show anything of that, because I'm filming this very early morning. Now this is the upper part, or the southern part of the street. The name of this area is Götaplatsen. And behind me here, as I'm turning around, this large building here is Gothenburg's Art Museum. And yeah, speaking of big things, don't be jealous, guys. Now on the right side here, we have the concert house. In the background, we have the Art Museum, as I said. And in the foreground, you can see another large statue. So turning the camera from the concert house all the way to the left, we have a theater called Stadstheatern. However, I'm actually going to show you this street from the other side, starting all the way down, or from the northern part, where you, in the background here, you see Karl the Ninth on his horse, or Koppamera. And even though you see the street continuing down to the left, the avenue actually begins or ends, however you want to call it, right about here, and continues as Östrahamngatan. Now, I'm filming this in very early morning, so there's almost no people here, as you can tell, but uh, I'm getting on my bike, so I'm just going to show you what the streets looks like from the north to the south. And one of the things you can see, if you pay attention here, on the left side is one of the trams. And one of the things that people very much appreciate about Gothenburg and Sweden in general is that the public transportation is very well built out. It's very easy to get around. And that is appreciated by a lot of people, especially considering that taxis in Sweden are rather expensive. Now this canal that I'm passing over here creates a certain little area that's called Inom Valgrav and it's a very, how do you say it, very much a center part of Gothenburg and there's a lot of stores and bars located behind me that's actually worth making a separate video about, but that's for another time. So here we see on the right side, yes, that's another theater, Stora Teatern. And on my left side, which unfortunately I didn't film, we have a very nice, rather large park actually, which every now and then has quite a number of activities, depending on the time. So I'm going to pass a street, or actually I'm going to pass two streets, because the traffic going to my right would be Nya Alén, while the traffic going to the left, further up here, is called Parkegatan. I don't know that why they have different names for the same... Well, it, the street is separated by quite a nice little park-looking area. I also want to know that as I'm biking up here or to the south, I'm actually going slightly uphill. And this footage was recorded as I was on my way to Slotskogen. And feel free to check out that video if you haven't already. So from here on, we are going to pass quite a number of restaurants, bars and nightclubs. For example, Jakida, which we passed on my right side just about now. Bryggeriet also on my right and Hard Rock Café coming up on the left side in just about a second. But there is no way I'll be able to mention them all. Now what I will mention is Valand that you'll see here up on the right as we're passing a street called Vasagatan. Now Valand is probably one of the most well-known nightclubs in Gothenburg, but I guess that depends on who you're asking. Now in the description of this video I'm going to post a link to a site called avenue.se where you can check out the home pages of these nightclubs, all of those which I've mentioned, and of course many many more. So now if you're planning on visiting Gothenburg and you're interested in any kind of nightlife or any kind of social life, any kind of happenings, events or whatever, it is well worth checking that out because a lot happens on this uh, very street during the summertime and uh, don't be surprised if you come here and the street looks very very different from what you see in this video. Sometimes there can be a concert up here all the way up at, at Götaplatsen and this entire street is then being blocked off and the entire street that you've seen in this video is just jam-packed with people. Other times traffic can be blocked off for other reasons and you see a lot of tables and restaurants in the middle of the street here uh, whenever there is uh, some festival or some other event happening. Now these things changes from time to time and uh, yeah, you gotta 
do a little bit of digging in order to keep up with it but if you're visiting Gothenburg it's well worth checking it out if this is something you're interested in who knows maybe something is happening the very date you are here so now on the left side here you can see in red letters that's Park Lane as I'm being passed by this delivery guy here yeah best timing ever right I actually did pedal on here a little bit just to get a better look but uh, yeah he's got a little bit of extra battery power with him so yeah that's just a quick look on the avenue who knows maybe there's a reason for me to cover this street yet again because there are like I said earlier there are plenty of events happening now and then and uh, if you go here at night time or when there is an happening then this street is going to look very very differently and you're going to see a lot more people than in this video thank you for watching